What up y'all, PBJ, back at it again. So, basically in this video, um, I wanted to start my workouts on uh, YouTube here. And uh, as promised, I'm making more videos, making some content. I'm going to really start hard grinding uh, YouTube, my career, my dream, um, my ambition, and I hope that you all enjoy the ride. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing off the JM press specifically, maybe some curls. Um, and I just wanna talk about the JM press real quick, cause you know, I don't know too much about weights and uh, exercise, mostly because um, when I first ever started going to like the gym, I went to uh, with my buddy Luke um, back in the day, like years ago, like 2019, we're talking. And um, we did like, I don't know, curls and chest press and stuff like every day and stuff like that, like preacher curls, you know, different stuff. We did it on and off um, then stopped going eventually. And pretty much, um, you know, that was that with that. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at a wasp and it's kind of spooking me a little bit. I hate them things, but anyway, point is I dabbled in with the weights a little bit at the beginning then I went to straight arm wrestling and that I got some gains from that and then now um, last year I started doing calisthenics so you know your pull-ups your push-ups your dips you know, your body weight movements I started doing that for like literally a year um, I even have my own home pull-up and dip bar it's amazing I love it um, use it every single day and uh, I've been getting some pretty nice gains from that, if I do say so myself. I don't know if you can see, but pretty much um, nowadays, I've been starting with um, some hybrid training, which basically means I'm incorporating weights while also mainly focusing on my calisthenics. This way, I can improve muscle groups I maybe couldn't have improved as much before with my calisthenics only. And it's honestly a good way to bring up some of those muscle groups like triceps, for example. And that's why I wanna talk about uh, the JM press. My triceps blew up when I started JM presses. I mean, don't get me wrong, dips are amazing. I mean, I'm, I mostly lean uh, forward a lot when I do my dips. So it like targets my chest more. And so, you know, I can get some chest gains, but like with the, um, with the JM press, I don't know what it is about it, but I very much, um, have gotten some gains. Now I've slightly altered my JM press. I do it slightly differently so that most of the tension is here and also on my tricep, of course, because it's a tricep exercise, but I like to do it for this because there's uh, some of the OGs on the channel know I had some terrible arm wrestling elbow pain that lasted me a long time and I don't really deal with it anymore. It's amazing. I can just shoot in the hook as much as I want. I can, you know, shoulder press, you know, all that good stuff and it feels really good now. So pretty much going to be um, doing some jam presses, showing you what mine look like. Hopefully it's a good camera angle. I don't really know. I might have to mess with it a little bit. Got a new setup kind of going here, but uh, I got a towel here. I don't know if you can see it, but because I'm, you know, pretty hot right now, um, pretty sweaty. I also got some flops on because uh, I was outside taking out the trash. And yeah, so gonna show you the jam press now. I got about, got about 62 pounds right here. Uh, easy curl bar I don't have a regular you know straight bar so mine is a little bit altered already from that but I like to take a close false grip so just like this and then I get on my bench and then pretty much from here I go ahead and I lean back yeah. okay it looks like you can see it pretty good and so I lean back like this put it right above my neck then I push right up. And see, the Todd Hutching style is he cups his wrist in like this. For me, I like to keep it straight for more elbow tension. Then I do them like this to see if we can get some good reps in. My 62 pounds. 
I like to go for about 10 reps, but I don't really count them anyway. I just kind of try to do them nice and slow so that I can get full tension on the elbow. But yeah, that's what they look like for me. pretty much that's jam press for me and my altered version so i really do like it i'll kind of show you the triceps after that let's see if i can <sighs> triceps are really pumped now but the reason i do it like that today is because pretty much um i want to get the maximum amount of tension on my elbows and uh, the way I just did it I felt it all up in here my inner elbow that arm wrestling pain I eliminated it by doing jam presses if you want to eliminate your arm wrestling pain what I recommend from my experience because at first the jam press didn't work it felt like nothing worked <laughs> I was felt like um, I was a little hopeless excuse me I just farted uh, felt like I was a little hopeless because I want to go inside, I want to shoot in the hook because that's my favorite move. I, like, I kind of do like a drag hook and uh, pretty much I couldn't go ahead and do that because anytime I went inside or committed my shoulder at all, my elbow would hurt really bad. So what I did was with the jam press, I did some light ones. So we're talking 30 reps-ish, like plus. And I did them to failure. Like when I say failure, I mean like you literally cannot lift the bar anymore and then obviously safely get up. Uh, here I don't obviously have a, you know, a uh, thing to put it on, you know, I don't really know, a rack I think it's called. So I just simply, you know, uh, de-rack it myself. But pretty much I, uh, I like to do the jam press um, heavier now mostly because I can really feel the tension in my elbow, I guess. Like when I did them light at first, I did them for about three weeks straight every single day. Uh, I did them throughout the day whenever I had some time, boom, boom, boom. Playing a video game, play it, play it, play it. I was playing like Elden Ring and I just sit there, play it for an hour or two, get some jam presses in and then, you know, play it again, jam presses. So you can do it like in sets if you want to, like, you know, just rest for, you know, five minutes or something three to five, I don't know, whatever you feel is, you know, optimal for you, because that's the best rest time, but, um, pretty much, um, when it comes to me and the jam press, the light ones did their job, I think, but when I noticed my elbow pain was really gone, was when I started going heavier, that is when I noticed that they were, like, truly gone, or that elbow pain was truly gone, I don't know if the light was good to start off with or not, the reason I started like that was also so I could learn the movement, you know, so I could learn what felt the best in my elbow so I could get the maximum amount of tension and then I could like fully pump it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I mean with the jam press, that's pretty much it for me. Um, that's my experience with it. Um, tried to give you the best I could and uh, yeah, so why not hit a set of curls too? I'll we'll hit some seated curls just for you. I love hitting me a good set of curls. All right, now we gotta reverse these curls. Anyway, that's my experience with Jam Press. Hope you enjoyed the video, and that's about it for me. So like, comment, subscribe, get the merge. Excuse me, excuse me again. If you want to support me further, and yeah, two words I say. At the end of every single video since I did the Jam Press, I got a nice tricep pump.
I'll see you in the next one. And, oh yeah, for those of you that said shoulder legs, I already know. See you in the next one. Bye.